What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and we got another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leak update to share with you all today. And we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, getting multiple forms, and much, much more. And of course, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. To begin, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. So much, I actually bought a little plush of him. And we're going to be talking about Tauros. I think Tauros is a phenomenal looking Pokemon design wise. Very simple, very cool though. But it's a Pokemon that has not received any love. And it was actually a really powerful Pokemon in Generation 1. But it has since fallen off. And now we're going to be seeing it coming back. And not only is there the regular Tauros confirmed for Scarlet and Violet, but we are seeing three additional forms. We already knew there's going to be one additional form, but it's actually confirmed we're going to get three more forms. So one of them is going to be a single type Tauros, and the other two are going to be dual types. And we actually find out that the single type one is going to be a fighting type Tauros, which is really cool. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Tauros definitely has the vibe of a fighting type. I mean, bulls are very aggressive animals in nature so i can see it happen so we got a normal one we got a fighting and then we got two dual types we don't know what they're gonna actually look like which is really exciting for me because we could potentially get a minotaur type of pokemon as well we could have a toro stand on two legs and just be a minotaur we don't know i don't think they're all gonna just be recolors of toros but they could be similar to sun and moon with the pokemon oracorio where there was different Oricorios for each island. And it is also confirmed that similar to the Oricorio birds, that they're going to be found on different parts of the map. And I assume their typing is going to be reflected to the terrain and environments that they're going to be found in. So I think that is really cool. I just really hope that one of the Tauros ends up being a little bit different looking, maybe go full Minotaur and become a bipedal Pokemon. I think that'll just be a really cool design. And also, I want them to mess around with the stat total and the stat spread. I think that is like a guarantee that the stat spread is going to be messed around with. But are they going to change the base stat total? So this is what Tauros is currently looking at, 490, which... You know, it's actually pretty solid overall. It could be a little bit higher. I would love to make this like a 500. And fun fact, Tauros actually has the same base stat total as Miltank and Buffalant. So technically, they're all related in that way. I mean, they're the same type of Pokemon. And they are literally have the same base stat total. But Tauros is really special because it actually has a really good stat spread. Offensively, 100 attacks, pretty decent. And 110 speed is actually really fast still to this age. Overall, we can make Tauros better with new regional forms. I would say give it a little bit more bulk. Definitely make this like 120 attack. And this thing's going to be an absolute monster. And I have a couple of predictions for the last two forms of Tauros that we don't know the typing. So we obviously have a normal type. And we have a fighting type. And I think one of them is going to be a dark and steel typing. I think this is probably the safest bet just looking at Tauros. I mean, seeing a dark colored Tauros automatically is going to give it the dark typing and Tauros already has like steel horns and has like these dots on its head i can see the dark steel typing happening i think this other one is a little bit more far-fetched but i can see Tauros being a ground type for sure i mean it is on the ground you, if you probably make it like more dirtier give it like you know bigger horns maybe or like a plow or something like that and then maybe add the fairy typing just because it'll counteract the dark steel a little bit better uh, and they can sort of beat each other too. So I think that would be a really cool combination. I think that one's a little bit more far-fetched. But hey, it's hard to think of what other dual types Tauros would be getting. But definitely let me know in the comment section below what dual types Tauros' regional forms will be receiving. Something that I think is actually pretty common sense now that we have a little bit more context. There is a new Earthworm Pokemon coming to Scarlet and Violet. That this Pokemon that was actually teased in the trailer that was burrowing towards the screen is probably that Pokemon. And I think it's going to be a bug and ground type. I hope it's good. I mean, I love me some bug types. And bug and ground actually has, you know, is a solid typing. The bug typing isn't the best, but ground does give it some options as well. Hopefully it has a nice big stat total and a really good stat spread. Overall, maybe even a signature move. I'm just very excited to see more bug types out there. And we also learn that just like in Legends Arceus, Pokemon do not automatically evolve you have to go to the menu and you have to hit the evolve button. This is really nice because what if you forget to hit B or you don't have an Everstone equipped? It's just these quality of life features that I really like to see. Funny enough, this game actually has a lot in common Legends of Arceus. I mean, you can relearn moves from the menu. You can evolve Pokemon from the menu as well. It is an open world game and Pokemon will be spawning. There are going to be mass outbreaks. So a lot of great things that I love about Legends of Arceus are actually coming to Scarlet and Violet. 
but we have a traditional battle system, which I still am a fan of. I like the battle system more in mainline games than what I experienced in Legends Arceus. Also, we're getting alpha Pokemon as well. So they're bringing pretty much everything I really like to this game, and I think that's phenomenal overall, but you're still going to have to battle Pokemon and then catch them. You can't just like throw a Pokeball at them as is. And we do get a little bit of information about the evil team because this is apparently what they're going to be using is these flags. And this is probably going to be their logo as well. So I wonder what they're going to be like, but I'm going to have to assume this is like racing flags they are probably going to be a motorcycle delinquent gang. So I can imagine them going to be sort of like Yakuza style, but with motorcycles, which I think is going to be a really cool motif for the game overall. And we know that motorcycles will be really important because the legendary Pokemon are literally bikes. So we did get some confirmation about some Pokemon returning. Mimikyu is coming back. Phenomenal. I love that. Gudra and Hisui and Gudra. I think that's very interesting because I knew about Hisui and Gudra, but I did not know about regular Gudra. So both Gudras is really cool. So that is two pseudo legendary Pokemon coming. Hisui and Gudra is Dragon and Steel and a phenomenal Pokemon. Regular Gudra is good too, but Hisui and Gudra literally is just a better Pokemon, better typing, better base stat spread. Overall, just this is this is awesome news. I'm very excited to use Hisui and Gudra in an actual competitive game. And we're getting Snover as well. And we're not going to be getting Smeargle. No Gen 5 starters, which I think is a massive miss, especially because we can't use the Hisuian forms. I mean, I sh shiny hunted those in Legends Arceus, so it's a big disappointed uh, thing that I can't actually bring these into uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And no Sharpedo, so no Carvana either. I think that's okay. I'm not a big fan of Sharpedo overall, so I can live with that. There's also no new Garchomp form. Fue Coco's evolution signature move is sound based, which we did talk about in a previous video how Fue Coco is probably based on some sort of singer, some sort of rock star. So that makes a lot of sense. There is no sound typing, so it doesn't really matter. But this signature move is probably going to go behind substitute, just like hyper voice goes through substitute. So this actually has some competitive viability overall, which is really cool. Apparently, Pommy's new evolution is very good in the late game. We're going to have to see how that goes, but we know Pommy's final evolution is going to be electric in fighting, and we know his signature move revives when you're fainting Pokemon, so I think that's going to be really good for VGC. Let's see how actually it is in 1v1. We also got confirmation that there is a new three-stage fire Pokemon. I think that's pretty basic overall. I wish we knew more information about it. Maybe it's going to be the fire and grass type Pokemon. That would be really sick, but... I sort of doubt it, but hey, I love fire types. One of my favorite types of all time. So I really hope they don't miss with this new fire Pokemon. And we got reconfirmation that yes, the gyms don't. They do not have level scaling, but you can do them in any order. So there is technically an order to them if they're not going to be scaling to you. I think that is really lame overall. I really wish. I think this is the biggest miss and disappointing part about this game is you truly cannot actually do them in any order. I'm sure there's like a speed run where you can like probably going to be able to oh use some sort of gimmick or some sort of mechanical error in the game that you can actually exploit and do any gym in any order. But the reality is you're probably going to have to do them in a set order that's going to be at make it easy as possible for you. I wonder how they're going to block it off. I guess maybe with alpha Pokemon so you can't actually try to attempt to do certain gyms unless you have really strong Pokemon. That's the only thing I can think of, but... I do wish they added level scaling and made it so the higher level your overall Pokemon were, the more Pokemon they were bringing out to challenge you as well. Now for a little bit of real news, there's actually going to be a brand new pre-order event for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in Japan. And one, we got some new art of the three starters right here and Quaxley looks so adorable. That is Phenomenal. I mean, if I wasn't such a Fue Coco stand, I'll be picking Quaxley just from this image alone. I think it's a beautiful rendition of that Pokemon. But apparently, there's going to be a new marketing campaign for Scarlet and Violet starting on August 4th. And I'm really thinking that we're getting a new trailer soon because things are starting to ramp up. Because not only did we get this little piece of information from Japan, but there's actually a brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer in the sense that they're talking about the music of Scarlet and Violet. And this is the main thing. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get DMCA'd, but they have a live orchestra playing the music here. And then they actually go ahead and reveal the plushies for Scarlet and Violet's three starters here. And we actually get a nice little look at the starters right here with these plushies. They're looking fantastic. I'm a big fan of this Way Coco plush. It looks so good. I'm loving the little like 
feather on the top of its head. It's really great looking. I think Quaxley sort of has the worst plus of the three, but hey, I'm just glad we're getting official merchandise already. Hoping to see some more official merchandise soon. And then on the last note here, the last leaker for Scarlet and Violet, because Riddler Koo already quit. He quit a few days ago. The latest leaker, Kaka, says he is done, and we're going to see if he means it for good. He quit before, and then he immediately came back like a day later. So if he is done for good, I do agree with Central here that, wow, this was probably the greatest Pokemon leak season we have ever had outside of Sun and Moon, where they literally leaked the entire game about two months beforehand. So we're just going to have to see if he comes back. I hope he does, because making these videos were a lot of fun. And I love learning more about Scarlet and Violet. I cannot wait for these games. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon news and other video game content. Peace out, and have a great one.